Pretty scary when the drone says it's disconnected. Thank you. Yeah. But when that happens, it basically just flies back via GPS to wherever the controller is that it marks inside of its brain. It's pretty cool. So it's like impossible to lose, I guess. Not impossible to crash, but pretty hard to lose it just straight up losing. Nothing makes me feel better on a Monday morning, or any morning for that matter. A good night's sleep. It feels so good right now. Thank you. Later. Thank you. It's a good workout in the gym. Hanging in the office now. It's a pity to go spend a pretty day like this in the office, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Bye right, guys, Thomas, are you coming tomorrow? To the conference? Uh, I'd like to... One eternity later. Is there... Mm. Just let me know. Yeah, okay, I'll let you know. Bye Winnie, I'll see you in the morning. Bye Archie. Interview here at Zalora. Uh, yeah, right. Cool. You get to be on my vlog now. Cool. It's raining. Yeah. I met a friend sharing an umbrella to the MRT. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Where are you from? You're from Singapore? Uh, no, I'm from India. Whereabouts? Uh, Chennai. Yeah, okay. So uh, I came here last year. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for the umbrella, man. I'm going to be featuring in your vlog. Yeah. Hey, cool man, nice to meet you. Take it easy. Good luck with the interview. Thanks. See ya. It's raining really hard. Found a stranger who was looking for where I was going, so we shared an umbrella. We were gonna take the MRT home, but then Fangan messaged me and I'm gonna go over and have dinner with them instead, so now I have to leave the MRT and go get an Uber. Now we have to go back through the rain. Yeah. Assuming that my camera is a certain level waterproof, I guess it's not the smartest thing. But
Fun fact, this is the scariest elevator on the planet. One, because you feel like you're inside the matrix. Two, because this building is like a thousand years old and the elevator shakes and groans and rumbles all the way to the 35th floor. Hello. 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 What's up? What up, dude? What's up? What's happening? That was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What is up, you little bundle of joy? How are you? Hello. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh my god. <laughs> Does she just do this non-stop? Yep. Does she ever stop loving? You little bundle. What do you think? You think it'll get worse or better? Bye bye. Hey yo. Hello. How are you? Is that photography? Uh, Video. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. You? Good, good. <laughs> um, I, I put in the address. You have it? Yeah, finally bar residence. Yeah. Right? All right. The coolest thing ever just happened to me. The Uber driver that brought me home was just chatting it up, super friendly guy, and I was asking him, you know, how long do you drive? And he was telling me I drive from 9 o'clock to 3 a.m. I go to sleep, and then I wake up and I go at 9 a.m. to my other job. And I asked him, you know, what is your other job? So he delivers used truck parts around the city during the day, from 9 to 6 during the day. Then he goes home. From 6.30 to 8 o'clock, he rests. From 8 to 8.30 he eats and freshens up, and then 9 o'clock he hits the road and drives Uber until 3 a.m. All of that is fine, sure, but he was the nicest, happiest, friendliest guy I've ever met in my whole life. Like, I'm pretty sure he was Jesus. This guy was so happy and chipper and just full of life and by any objective standards he probably lives a really hard life and he works really really hard every single day but he was so happy and he was so nice and kind and it just reminds me that you're never too busy to be nice to people and you're never too busy to be happy and enjoy life just as much as we say do what you love do what you love do what you love you have to remember to love what you do also i am speaking at a big tech conference tomorrow um speaking on a panel in front of a bunch of people. I don't know how many people actually. I don't know that much about the event, embarrassingly so. Getting in a run in the morning and heading over to the hotel at around nine-ish, get there about an hour early, and we're going on stage at 10.30. So gonna get rested up. Tomorrow's gonna be a big, big day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Thanks guys. That guy is so high up. <laughs>